Treadmill exercise ECG is usually done with a computerized treadmill unit which controls the motor speed of the treadmill as well as monitors the ECG. ECG is recorded periodically during the test in addition to documenting any specific events like arrhythmias. Ideally, treadmill test is done in a basal state so that the process of digestion of food and consequent increase in cardiac output does not interfere with the assessment. If it is a diagnostic test, the individual should be off medications. But if it is for assessment of effort tolerance while on treatment, it may be done on medications. Though various protocols like Norton and Ram protocol are in vogue, the popular one is Bruce protocol. There is also a modified Bruce protocol for those with lower functional capacity or for early post-infarction evaluation. Standard Bruce protocol has 7 3-minute stages. In stage 1, the gradient is 10% and it rises 2% per stage. The starting speed is 1.7 miles per hour and increases in increments of 0.8 to 0.9 miles per hour per stage. In modified Bruce protocol, stage 1 has a gradient of 0 and stage 2 a gradient of 5%. Speed is the same in first three stages of modified Bruce protocol that is 1.7 miles per hour. Stage 3 of modified Bruce protocol is equivalent to stage 1 of standard Bruce protocol. Further stages are similar to Bruce protocol though the number of the stage will be higher by a magnitude of 2. Treadmill exercise test ECG series starts with a pre-test ECG and recordings in every stage of exercise and recovery phase. Sometimes an ECG during hyperventilation is also recorded before the start of exercise. This pre-test ECG of a treadmill exercise test series shows a bit of artifacts especially in leads 2 and 3. The pre-test heart rate is about 100 per minute possibly due to apprehension. ECG recording in stage 1 of the Bruce protocol of treadmill exercise test. The heart rate has increased and there are not many artifacts and no significant ST segment shift is evident. Recording at the peak exercise shows significant horizontal ST segment depression in inferior and lateral leads at a fast heart rate. But the significant level of artifacts in the raw rhythm strip make us suspect whether the ST segment depression could be artifactual due to computerized averaging in the computer synthesized rhythm. The recording in early phase of recovery at 1 minute shows very little ST segment depression making us suspect further whether the earlier recording was really due to myocardial ischemia. But the ST segment is downsloping in inferior leads. ECG at 3 minutes of recovery shows further worsening of ST segment depression in inferior and lateral leads, establishing the presence of significant myocardial ischemia. TMT recovery phase ECG at 6 minutes showing the persistence of downsloping ST segment depression. This calls for further evaluation including coronary angiography and revascularization if feasible. Moreover, ECG recording has to be continued till the ST segment shift resolves.